What is up, homies? Welcome back to another trailer reaction from Heroes Reforged. We're reacting to the Comic-Con sneak peek of Black Adam. Wait a what? minute, I thought we were doing uh, Super Pets. What the, What are you talking oh, about? Oh, my bad. Sorry. Comedy. Wrong Kevin Super Hart Pets. movie. My bad. Come on. <laughs> Just to give some context, I was in the panel for this movie. So the trailer that I saw is actually different. I saw more footage. So I can go a little mm -hmm. bit into some of that stuff that I did see after we watched this trailer. But if you have not subscribed yet, subscribe. We got a whole bunch of trailer reactions from Comic-Con. We also got a lot of yeah. TV show reactions, all kinds of shit. Check out our Patreon. We got so much stuff that I don't even remember anymore what we've done last year. There's so much. Just go look at it. It's great stuff. Good stuff. Anybody have any thoughts about this trailer before we watch the hierarchy of power shift in the DC universe? I yeah. honestly wasn't interested in this until you just said those words just now, Adam, because then you reminded me that the hierarchy of power is about to change in the DC. I don't know if now, you know that. Now I need to I watch this movie. I don't know if you movie. know that it's about to change, but it's about to change. <laughs> All right. I'm very much looking forward to this. Very much looking forward to yeah. this. Come on. All right, Come here on. we go. My powers. Yes. Are not a gift. But a curse. Oh, they killed his... Born out of They rage. killed his shazam -ily, so now he's mad. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Black Adam. Dr. All Fate. All right, Dr. Fate. You believe you are not worthy. Cool. But you have two parts. You can be the destroyer of this world. You can be its savior. Very fun music, very epic. Yeah. The world needed a hero. Instead, it got there me. There you go. Man. Those bombs are kicking. Bwom. Those bombs kicked my ass. <laughs> how, so, how, how loud were those bombs in the in the room? Adam? Oh, this. So they were testing this trailer at the very in, in the morning because it was the first thing that they showed. Good yeah. God, that entire building yeah. was shaking. It was pretty electric. No pun intended. It was pretty electric in that panel. I will say the panel presentation for this movie was, I mean, for, I would say for, for both of them was really good. The Rock mm -hmm. literally came out in the Black Adam suit. He was like ele elevated in Hall H. They had these great yeah. electricity effects. And, you know, then they introduced the cast was there with the director. But the trailer that I saw, it was about three minutes long. So it had a mm -hmm. lot more stuff in there. So the beginning of it, you actually see him being awoken again after 5,000 years. And he absolutely decimates mm. those people in the cave. And then that's mm. where he flies. He floats out of the cave and he destroys the two helicopters. He smashes them together. And then we actually get a lot more context about the JSA, how they are being used in the story in a way to kind of stop Black Adam to try to see if they can figure out who he is, what is he doing here and all that sort of stuff. The interesting part that was in that trailer that was not in this trailer is that Amanda Waller makes an appearance and it's Viola Davis. And I think for a while there might have been some conversations and some debates on whether or not this existed in the shared universe of the DC films. But having Amanda Waller in there, that pretty much states that yes, it does, which leaves the potentiality of having characters like Shazam and a Superman, whoever that may be, could have some interconnected stories. It, yeah, I mean, this trailer was cool. It was definitely more condensed. I think the other trailer that they showed us was obviously way better. But um, I still like getting to see just new stuff from this movie. And I think that the dynamic between the characters, especially Cyclone and Atom Smasher, just based on the panel, seems like it's going to be really special and unique. And those actors seem like they were really, really excited. And, and Aldous Hodge, too, playing Hawkman, were just so yeah. excited to be there to play it's these great. larger than life characters and bring these characters to yeah. life. And uh, yeah, it looked cool. We also saw more stuff with Hawkman, which I was like, this looks amazing. But uh, yeah, okay. so I'm, I am excited for it. Actually, they also gave us a free IMAX ticket to go see the movie yeah, man. in October. Oh, wow. So yeah, they really That's hooked rad. it up with that panel. Okay. It was really cool. Yeah, he did. He hooked you up with those free tickets. Are you going to, mm -hmm. can you bring us please? Can, can you, can you yeah. bring yeah, us? Yeah, I guess I'll just buy you tickets. I don't know, I guess. How about we just sit on your shoulders Mm. <laughs> and get a really long trench And we'll coat. show people how the hierarchy uh -huh. of power in the movie theater and has yes, changed. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, it's changed. One, one for Black Adam, please. You're 13 feet tall. That's right. <laughs> With a fake mustache. <laughs> <laughs> 
Looks fun. This is coming out before Shazam. I know we mentioned this. We've talked about this in a previous trailer reaction. I think the first one that they came out with, but it's like, it's going to be cool to see how far this pushes it with like, Black Adam's a bad guy. He kills people, but also still being PG-13 and also being that like wrestling vibe heel of like yeah. fun where yeah. kids can go see this and see The Rock being a badass because he is, but still not fully evil enough to not root for him. You know, and 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 to see how that story is going to kind of fall into place. But I think Amanda Waller is the perfect character to bring into something like this. Yeah, I think mm -hmm, that she mm -hmm. should be DC's Nick Fury at this point. That she should be in every single one of these movies. Yeah, and it always reminds me how in the Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern movie, that character was played by Angela Bassett, and they killed her off in that first movie. And I was yeah. like, that is the exact mm -hmm. proof. That people mm -hmm. making this movie do not know how DC Comics works. Yeah, like I'm mm -hmm. like, that's a franchise stopper. Red you flag. just you yeah. took out Amanda Waller in the first movie. I'm like, don't you know that Amanda she's, Waller? Don't you know nothing? <laughs> she's in all of these. Like she has to do so anyway. But now <laughs> we can get uh, the amazing Viola Davis to come back and and yeah. uh, play her again and again. So more Viola, yeah. please. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This didn't necessarily add to my excitement, but I do like that the last trailer felt a little bit more rock and roll. This one felt like cinematic and big and like this is the mm. event of the summer kind of thing so I'm it almost played it. it almost played like a reminder hey we're coming out in october don't forget because mm -hmm. i i do feel yeah. like we'll get one more full theatrical trailer probably around you know october about a month out mm. and uh, there's probably going to be some stuff that they can attach it to that is warner brothers related that that they'll put it on but yeah i, feel, I just feel like for um to just give us something because i do feel like mm. if they would have come out of that panel and not given you know, general audiences, anything. I think general sure. audiences would have felt really robbed to not have something. So I think yeah. it was a nice compromise to give all H people a cool three minute trailer clip, you know, hybrid mashup thing, and then do a condensed yeah. version for, for everybody else I thought was really cool. So yeah, I can't, I can't wait to see it. And uh, I'm excited to see how the hierarchy of power in the DC universe changes. I mean, what, what Adam, is going to happen? What that right. means to me is Exclu exclusive. Adam, exclusive. That makes me nervous. You, <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> Adam, you mentioned how like that the Shazam panel fielded some questions about Superman, and so did this panel. I know yeah. Tiffany Smith brought it up. I'm sure that it was part of the whole presentation, but but Dwayne Johnson said it depends on who's playing the character who yeah. win in a fight. Mm -hmm. it depends on playing mm -hmm. Superman. Did that feel like a hint to you of like, look, we got to start planting the seeds that it's not going to be Cavill because either. Warner Brothers isn't asking him to come back or he doesn't want to come back. And they know that at some point Superman needs to maybe have a presence in these films. Who yeah. knows? We'll see. How do you feel about the sort of status of Superman? Do you think we're going to see him in this or do you think we'll see him in Shazam or both or what's up? I don't know, because I feel like the answers that both Zachary Levi and, and The Rock gave were very much like, yeah, but no, but yeah, but no. And I'm like, uh, I don't necessarily want them to tell me in a Hall H panel, um, but they 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 did. I would say The Rock more so than Zachary Levi definitely hinted that there could be cameos of other characters that are not going to be revealed in yeah. the marketing. So is mm -hmm. it possible that we could see Superman again, like we saw him in Shazam? But hopefully this time, if we see him, it's actually Henry Cavill, or maybe it's a yeah. new actor if they recast him. Whatever the case, that's what I would hope for because I don't want to continue seeing Superman. Hidden in the shadows, like in Peacemaker, or from the right. neck down, like in Shazam. If you're gonna put Superman in it, and you know, they every time they do this thing, like, well, we couldn't get the actor because he was busy doing something else. Well, then don't put him in there. Like, don't give us false oh, hope. What are you doing? Either hey. give us Superman <laughs> or don't give us Superman. So yeah, I, I do hope that if if at the end of Black Adam, Superman shows up, that it is Henry Cavill just for the sake of continuity. If they do some sort of a crossover between these three characters or two of the characters. That maybe it leads to him having at least maybe one more movie where we can maybe do a nice send off to his version of Superman, or I don't know, whatever the mm -hmm. case may be. Um, I would just hope that the studio would, as far as like I can see from the from the public perspective, it seems like they're dragging their feet. And I would like to have some commitment to make a Superman yeah. movie, please, for the yeah. love of God. I what the fuck. I agree. <sighs> we'll see. We'll see. I mean, October's not that long from now, so uh, yeah. we could find out very soon whether or not Superman will return. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> guys, let us know in the comments so, below. So cheery. So Do you cheery, want you Superman guys. to return? Do you hope that he shows up as a cameo in Black Adam or Shazam or both? Let us know in the comments below. Maybe there's a potential for a movie with all three characters. Let us know. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you guys in the next reaction. Bye. Bye.